All right, well, this video is basically a rundown of my upgrade that I'm doing to my camp-in trailer. I've removed the old sink. All right, now I'm going to be reinstalling this new one, and this is what's on their new trailers. And wow, it is very solid, very nice. I tell you honestly, it's nicer than what I have in my home. I am very impressed with the quality of this product. $150. And I'm going to be upgrading, and I will have something what they have on the new trailers. As you can see, this is the old one. Uh, it looks like something that would be on a uh, an airliner. Absolutely horrible to use. It squirts water everywhere. I really did not dig it at all. <clears throat> so I will be upgrading this. It comes with fantastic instructions from what I see. Um, and we'll just see uh, how easy it is to do. Oh, and the tools that you'll be needing are a quarter-inch socket drive, metal file, regular screwdriver, a putty knife, number one Phillips, some silicone, and that'll do it. And uh, I'll be checking in every once in a while to give you guys an update on how this has gone. Well, so far, uh, so good. It's uh, going very well. Um, the only thing that I was really nervous about doing was removing the trim because on their website they said you might bend it removing it uh, did not have an issue um, it just popped right on off um, now then again my trailer is four years old but it just popped off really nicely there were two screws that were uh, pretty much stripped uh, from the factory uh, no big deal instead of using the number one Phillips I just stepped it up a size placed it in there and it and it took the screw right out so not an issue you just want to take it nice and slow so you're not damaging anything I cleaned up all around here a light film is okay I just wiped it down with a little alcohol after I was finished and right now I'm just fitting this after loosening this I'm gonna pry this back and uh, bend this in place and it's just gonna pop right on in there it's gonna be really nice so so far so good Looking forward to uh, seeing how this is going to work. Alright, so an additional tool I'm going to suggest is a rat tail file. And what I'm going to use this for is, they say to place this in here and make sure that everything fits correctly. It's okay that these don't line up. That's not going to be an issue. Um, it's gonna, it's, you can tighten them down when the thing's a little bit loose, just like they said. If there's a little 1 8 inch gap, that's fine. But right here, what's happening is if you can see this just pretend this is on the other side of the trim um, it's hitting the screws right here and they're they're telling you to trim this or to file it down as needed well your regular metal file is a, is a flat file <clears throat> I'm going to use a rat tail file which will be quicker and I'm just going to mark right here and I'm just going to trim that out right there so it goes around the screw and that way it will lay flush against the uh, side of the uh, wood there. So uh, I'll show you what it looks like after I'm finished. Okay, as you can see, it fits nicely now. <clears throat> um, so it fits nice and smooth, nice and nice. Everything lines up absolutely beautifully now. It's exactly like it should. They did a great job at the factory doing this. And as you can see, I'll just pop this out so you guys can see. <coughs> All I did was I took a rat file, which is a lot quicker than trimming down the entire piece, just to make it fit around those screws. <clears throat> Makes it really quick. You just want to make sure to deburr everything really nicely so you don't produce any cracks. And you just do that. You can do that with a file or you can just rub your metal uh, uh, scraper right along the edge and now clean it up real nicely also. Alright, so, so far everything's going good. Okay, one of the more difficult things to do is to fit the back trim right here. Because what's going to happen is this is going to make the holes not line up, the original holes. So what you need to do is you need to trim off maybe about, what I did is I just took a uh, hacksaw, trimmed off a little bit, and then the rest I took sandpaper and I just kept rubbing it until it fit nice nicely in the uh, section right here, which it does. So you just have to remove metal until it fits nicely. It's actually pretty easy. Just hacksaw the, the big portion and then fit 
with a uh, little bit of sandpaper. Really simple to do. Um, that's about it. I'm about to seal everything up. Uh, not very many pointers with that. It's messy no matter what you do. So, and you had to take apart. You have to take apart the sink also. Um, that just comes right apart. Um, and that way you have access to the screws in order to mount it. All right. So I'll be back. So far so good. I got everything fit nice. I put a little uh, sealant in here in between this. Uh, trim. Uh, I've got the sink together, um, sealed underneath there. Uh, as you can see, there's a little bit of a gap there, but that's not that big of a deal because you have the uh, step on the top trim that will uh, cover that. So that's not an issue. Uh, it's a little stubborn getting these things in. I had to drill these holes a little bit larger, uh, the metal portion, not on the unit itself, and that's not a big deal. And that way it sits better back here. Alright, and I'm going to seal the bottom now and put these in. I have a feeling it's going to be a little bit stubborn getting them in there, but um, it shouldn't be that bad. Alright, so, so far we got this thing rolling right along. I got the uh, got it all sealed and put in. Went in really nice and easy. You just want to make sure to put enough sealant back there because this whole area does get wet. Um, in the directions they say you don't have to seal the top, but I'm going to. And I just laid a bead straight across the top. All that's going to be covered up though because your top portion has a lip that's going to go right over all that. And that way if you do get some splashed water it will just prevent the water from going between the metal and the wood which wouldn't be a good thing. So um, even though the wood is protected um, it just it's just a little extra so you don't have to worry about ruining your the nice wood or getting some dry rot back there. All right, we're almost done. All right. All right, here we are. Um, got everything in place. I'm satisfied with the fit. It's really good. Uh, slight gap there. That's fine, though. It's nice and tight in the corner. I'm not too worried about that. Um, I hope I sealed good enough down in the corners there. I don't know if you can see that. I threw a lot of sealant in there. It didn't come oozing out or anything like that, but uh, I did put a a nice amount of sealant so it should um, silicone I mean it should uh, keep that water out of there right now I'm in the middle of taking uh, if you look under here uh, right about if I can get my finger in there uh, see that right there I'm gonna cut that to a shorter size and I'm gonna connect the faucet now and it's pretty hard to get a nice cut on that so what I'm gonna be using is of course one of my knives and uh, it's a ratcheting knife and I can put it in a position like this put it around that hose and it's just going to cut that hose nice and straight for me. It's a nice ratcheting knife. I've done a review on this. Very nice knife. Um, I enjoy it. I use it only when I have to actually because there's only certain situations that it's good for other than that it's a little bit too bulky. But this is one of those situations. So uh, I'm going to roll and I'm going to do this. Okay, uh, this is the final take. Uh, basically, uh, it's great. I like it. Got myself a faucet that I can adjust, different heights, all that good stuff. Splash guard works great. Um, the install was very easy. I was surprised at how easy it was. I thought I'd run into more issues, but I didn't. Just want to make sure to fit everything properly. Um, now, for improvements, well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to basically seal this up. I got some of the the great stuff here, and I'm going to seal up a few uh, holes just to maybe deaden the sound out a little bit. And then I also made a sound curtain that I'm going to put in between the uh, the pump and the uh, the wood, so it should be nice. Boy, it looks like we're getting ants here. Looks like someone is sending their queens out. Well, anyway, <clears throat> great, good time, easy, and I'm very happy with my new sink. All right, well, that's it. I decided not to fill in those cracks. Um, get a little ventilation in there, that's fine. I did put a little insulation in there to quiet it down. And we can look at our new sink here. Quieted it down really nice. 
came out perfect. Backsplash and everything. Very stoked. I like it a lot. Thank you, Campan. You make a good product. Very easy to install. And I highly recommend this upgrade.